Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and Bombay's Burly Sea Face. And my guest this week, well, I could describe him as a rock star of tele evangelism. But surprise of surprises, he is not preaching what you would expect a tele evangelist to preach. He is teaching Islam, modern Islam, and not just Islam, but his own interpretation of all the faiths around the world. 43 year old Dr. Zakir Nayak, welcome to Walk the Talk. How are you? Nice meeting you, it's a pleasure. Nice meeting you. Uh, uh, an Islamic preacher, dressed in suit and tie, uh, using a medium of television. Yes, then you would expect that in these times of sort of Talibanized demonization, people would think that Islamic preachers are telling Muslims to throw television sets away. <laughs> you are a different kind of person. And actually, I follow, as you said, that uh, teaches modern Islam according to interpretation. I believe in interpretation of Quran and the Sahih Hadith. So I go back to the original sources. When I speak about religion, I go back to the original scripture. Right. If I speak about Hinduism, I go to the Veda. When I speak about Islam, I go back to the Quran and the authentic Hadith, and and then I present it to the world. And, and by doing that, you built this following of literally crores and crores of people around the world. Alhamdulillah, it's God's grace and mercy that He has helped. So, uh, you say you go to the original sources. So, are you suggesting that many others who who use the medium of Islam to put many restrictions, watching television, for example? or going to a modern school, particularly, particularly for women. They are not he reading the original scriptures. See, what I believe that uh, they may take a verse of the Quran and Hadith and may misinterpret it. Right. So maybe there's a scholar who has misinterpreted something maybe 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back. So they believe in his view directly without going to the source. Right. What I do whenever I read a statement of a scholar, I go back and see why has he said that thing. Right. So most of the people, they just believe and they quote the scholar without checking what he has quoted and from where he has got it. So what we believe that there is no verse in the Quran or the Hadith which says that television is prohibited. Right. Yes, there is a statement in the Quran which says, you know, about making yeah, yeah, the sweet of poetry, you know, by doing my hand. Right. It doesn't mean about photography and videography because at the time of the Prophet, photography and videography wasn't there. Right. So according to me, there is no verse in the Quran, the Hadith which says that television is haram. But watching wrong thing on television, right. like obscenity, like uh, pornography, fine. That is haram. Right, right, right. Uh, so do you think that Islam has actually undeservingly got a bad name because of wrong interpretation of the original scriptures by many? That's right. I agree with you totally. It is the most misconceived religion in the world. Most misunderstood religion. Give me some examples because you talk to people around the world. For example, as we are discussing, the most misconceived word in Islam is jihad. Right. People have a wrong notion and they've got the wrong information just by the television media etc because as you know that jihad originally the Arabic word comes from the word yeah. jiddu jihad means to strive and to struggle. struggle that's it it means to strive and struggle it's that, but, that doesn't mean holy war doesn't mean at all this if you see that jiddu jihad means to strive and struggle so if you Islamic context it means to strive and struggle against your own evil inclination to strive and struggle to make the society better even if a person is striving, striving and struggling in the battlefield in self-defense, that's called as jihad. Right. So this word holy war was first used to describe the Christian crusaders right. who, spread the, who spread the religion on the point of the sword. And now it's used for the Muslims, unfortunately, because holy war in Arabic, if you translate, means harbu muqaddasa. This word harbu muqaddasa doesn't appear anywhere in the Quran, neither in the sayings of the Prophet. 